What's up, everyone? It is your girl, Jail Beauty 87 here, aka Grace. And today, we're gonna get into the new DD signature with Jingle Bell Ruby. I believe that's how you call it. Yeah, Jingle Bell Ruby palette. So, I was definitely feeling the color story of this when I saw it, but I feel like anybody who knows me knows that the color story of this was giving for me, and I was living. So, yes, 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 a thousand times yes. Then I ended up getting the classic autumn palette that my girl, um, Yeah, Loves Makeup got in her friend mail, which I thought was so pretty, so I definitely had to have it. It's given definitely fall jewel grunge situation and then i got a couple of little quads too so i'm gonna just show you all the stuff i had but this video is mainly focused on the jingle bell ruby but since all of them are here you're here i'm here we're all here i figured i'd just go ahead and show everything so i have been looking at this the pumpkin spice quad for a while but i thought it had sold out then the owner told me it hadn't sold out but then when i went to go check i guess it took me too long to like you know go check then it ended up selling out so she had restocked it so i was like let me go ahead and go grab a real quick and cute like and then i just went ahead and got the plum perfection one because i was like again i'm already here why not why not so here is what the pumpkin spice looks like i love the shift in this shade because it looks orange this way but when i turn it this way it's like giving pink um vibe so I definitely love the color source this. I'm gonna kind of wait to try it out. I'm gonna try to use it before this year is up. But y'all know everybody having sales, everybody's launching the mini palettes, everything is everything. Um, next we got Plum Perfection. Now I feel like this one would pair nicely with that one as weird as it is, because I feel like you can put the oranges and stuff in the crease and um maybe put the orange on the lower last time use the fun dual chromes, multi chromes in there and work it out so i'm excited to have both of these because i was stalking the website to see when all this stuff is going you know be restocked and all that good stuff so i'm happy to say it has come i'm gonna show the classic autumn palette next all oh, yours my shade broke y'all i found it sitting on my doorstep real disrespectfully and so my star apple shade is broken so i can't like fully show it the way I wanted to because I don't want this to fall out. I literally just picked it up off my doorstep and left, but that shade broke, so I'm just gonna press her on down. And then I'll like fix it with my, you know. Hopefully I can save it with a little bit of alcohol or something like that. It's not such a big deal. At least it's like a bronzy shade. It's not like, you know. But it looks like it shifts. Perhaps yeah, like shifts like a little pink to it if you will but i pressed it down so now i should be at least able to hold it up temporarily yeah there we go so i don't want to hold it down too much so let me put the little paper back on it so i can fix it so i won't be using this one right away because i'm gonna have to like come over here and do my little magic and fix it because i don't have time tonight it's like 3 30 in the morning it's like raining really bad and i should take asian game over school tomorrow and i have a surprise package i got in pr that i need to do a video on so we got all that going on um let's show the jingle bell um did this green say but it looks like the say slay ride might have broke too i'm trying to press it real quick and make sure she's good okay no she looks like she okay she looks like she just is a little bit more chunky than the other girls you know but that's okay so as you can see this is a nice like you know reddish purplish and then bright green to darker green color story so i feel like they try to put a twist on like traditional like colors and the palette so i'm here for it she's cute i'm really liking it um i definitely see myself coming up with a couple of looks so i might do two looks in this video i don't know it depends on how much time i have because i want this to go up tomorrow and the one in pr to go up the day like the actual palette goes up so i have to see how i'm about to work this i might just come back tomorrow and do another one we'll see how it goes it's, it's only tuesday it's only tuesday and i um do get thanksgiving off so i'm like worst come worst i just film then but let me zoom in real quick and you like i have the adept cosmetics i have a couple of adept cosmetics palettes on my eyes right now so i have on the um heather austin palette and then the amunet new palette so that's what this eye look is giving right now but i'm gonna go off camera get my life in order and then figure out what i'm gonna do with this jingle bells palette and how many looks we gonna do and i'll be right back okay girl okay okay y'all hit my eyeball <laughs> for the jingle bell ruby palette so i tried to stay in this section mainly so i used these five mattes here, these two shimmers here, and then this one for the inner corner. So, I like that the one's called Bright Ruby, even though it's like, you know, green. Not that rubies are normally red, but you know, I'm not here to judge. Let's just put on my eyeball once I get some eyeshadow primer out of this. Oh, Lord. But I hate but when it gets to the end and it starts spilling everywhere. So like now it's all over my pants and stuff. And I'm just like, y'all, I'm glad it's only sweatpants. So it's not like anything cute. 
That's why I like to be dressed like a bum when I do eye looks a lot of the time. Because like, I can change out the outfit into something cute for another picture. Even though we both know I never do. But that's beside the point. <laughs> but yes, I'm like, I'm excited to edit my adept video and get that put up. Because I want to put it up the day before the um, palette launches. So mine is going to go up on the 23rd. I know Karen just put hers on Instagram. If she got any PR, so I'm like, oh, okay, cool. So I need to pull out palettes to do palette comparison for it tomorrow because Adrian did not have to go to school. So the time I would normally get up to um, take him to school, if the sun is out and decent, which the sun has been horrible here in Chicago lately, then I do that. Like I said, we're going to start with Bright Ruby now. But yeah, if the sun is decent, I'll do my palette comparisons. Or just at least take a look at me. I think I'm sexy photo. Worst comes worst, I'll take a photo on my kitchen counter just so I can have like some decent lighting if you will because right now honey it is not yet and i gotta remember to start doing shorts like letting people know like i did the I, the video for i should have had it because i've been forgetting to do something like that y'all i just don't be thinking about it i be like you know i shot the video it's right I'm go put it on instagram leave me alone but i'm like i need to go ahead and start trying to you know do other places so like here on youtube shorts so I'm going to try. We're going to see how it works out. We're going to see how it goes. You know. So I'm going to get done with this. When I go home, I'll shoot it. Even though I feel like maybe I should shoot it here. I don't know. Sometimes I feel like y'all be too close up to my face if I shot it here. That's why I don't do that. Oh, um, so, y'all, I did entirely too much. Glad I had 40% off their website and I did entirely too much, okay? Because I bought, like... So much stuff like i bought all the stuff i basically said i wouldn't go buy at regular price like all the, like the um the ghost face palette and the um chunky palette and then i bought both the um palettes from the what's that thing called the um hershey's second collection that they had and then i bought a couple of lip kits so i bought the chunky lip set just to see how it was gonna look and then i think i bought the hershey kisses set so some of that stuff is gonna go in the giveaway for um my um christmas giveaway don't you be judging me, girl. But yeah, so something's gonna go on there. I'm trying to see how long I should let the giveaway last. But it's like I gotta wait for the rest of the stuff to show up before I can. So as soon as all the stuff shows up, then I'll go ahead and, you know, like put it in. I'm just cutting the crease to, um, to make sure the colors don't, you know, mess with each other. Next, we're gonna take this red shade called Candy Cane and just pat it on. I end up buying the I'm in a buying the basic witch palette because it's actually available now. I didn't want to wait for like the pre-order or whatever, but it says it's available now. I was trying to wait till DM Influence became available too, but I'm like, I don't know. I'm trying to wait and see if they're gonna have a better sale on Black Friday and they just teasing us. Cause I'm like, 65 lower. 65. Just slow have mercy. And I know that's like not a lot, but it's like the same time when everybody else is having a sale, it's like hard for me to pay regular price right, right now because I'm like, you know. Everything's on sale. Like, it's hard for me to give regular prices. Palette Girl, everybody got everything on the world on sale. I'm mad that my camera. People got, um. A, what do you call it? Um, the camera I got or whatever. I want to get a new one. I want to get the, what is it? G G7 um, Pro Shot Mark III. But it's like $750 and then it's like not going on sale. So I'm just like, hmm. Is that a sign I don't need to get it lower? Because I'm like, if everything else is on sale, that need to be on sale too. In fact, it's not, I'm not, I'm not feeling that in my spirit. I don't. I'm not feeling the price point of this palette in my, I mean, of this, Jesus, I'm so used to saying palette, to this camera in my spirit, Lord. So, I'm like, do I, I do I really need it, Lord? Because it's not like my camera doesn't work good, but it's like, you know, during the holidays is when I like to upgrade stuff. Because, you know, it's going to be more affordable then. But I kind of want to get, um, I'd rather get a computer instead of that, especially because the computer I edit on has been acting up lately. So I'm like, I think I'm going to put my focus on a computer and then just worry about the camera another time. I'm just cutting it back to put that darker shade on. So I took the shade Candy Cane, that was the red one. I'm going to take the Rudolph's Cookies that's next to it that's a little bit deeper. Which, believe it or not, I feel like they just ran into each other because I feel like once this red shade oxidizes, like the, um, the Rudolph's Cookies looks really similar to it. I don't necessarily see a difference and if I do it's like extremely slight but you know what you do to one side you gotta do to the other y'all know so um anyway 
back to this camera. So I'm just trying to debate, like, do I do the camera or do I do the computer? I feel like the computer is more essential because at the end of the day, it's not like I don't have a camera. But if this computer dies, like my other computer, I don't think it has the video editor on it. So it's like I'd have to download it or download something else and try to do a whole bunch of stuff. I think ClipChamp might be on my other one, though. I need to check. But I, use, if you all didn't know, I use my work computer to edit my YouTube videos. And I pay for it for myself, so it's not like it's, you know, a a computer to work gave me and I'm using it for things that aren't work purposes like I bought my own computer just to have at work and I use that to edit like the YouTube videos on the weekend and then I have my own personal computer that my actual YouTube is connected to because obviously my work email is with my work computer and I don't want to like be crossing the channels because like if I leave there it's like I'm not gonna leave my whole channel behind anything you know what I'm saying like yeah. now I'm gonna take the shade Santa's trees not to mention I've had my channel for like three years before I started like working where I work now so I'm like you know there's no way that could be a thing anyway but you know I'm loving the color of this green honey yes I love it but yeah so I'm like I don't know I'm, I'm hoping to get like a mac book to be able to edit all my um videos on because I love editing an iMovie and I find it so much easier than what I have to use now so I feel like my editing quality would be better if I had a Apple computer but that's probably literally the only thing I'd use it for because I don't really like the Apple Safari and all that like I literally have another um Explorer downloaded on my phone just to use for the internet because I, I don't know what it is I'm just not a huge fan of Safari I'm gonna take the brush with Ruby Lights on. I'm not adding anything extra. I'm just dusting around. I probably add a little bit extra in a few minutes though to dust over this outer B part here. Y'all know I like to be. Let's just do it now. Cause like y'all know I like to do that whole situation. But yeah. So have y'all heard about IG and them bringing back um, monetization? I'm like yes. The Lord has answered my prayers. Cause um, I love IG and I love posting on there. So I'm like the fact. Oh Lord, I got all this all over my brush. Oh. This is what happens when you're trying to film in the middle of the night, okay? There'd be a whole bunch of foolishness that be happening that shouldn't be happening. But anyway, so <laughs> I'm happy about this IG situation and how they're going to bring it back. Let's do the lower lash line and then I'll get into that. So I'm going to take Noel Night. That's the um, mid-tone green. And just running the lower lash line. I know, right? Who am I actually doing lower lash line work? Child, who am I? I don't know. I don't know, but I'm here for it, girl. Who am I? So, back to what I was saying about IG. Sorry, I was trying to focus on putting this underneath my lower lash line and I paused there, my bad. But you see, like, the colors are looking really similar here, too, because I feel like once this green gets underneath there, it looks similar as well. Y'all, the battery found decided to try to down me. It loves to do this when I'm trying to film video. So, I'm going to cut the glitter glue off camera, and then I will come back and give y'all the, um, you know, the shimmers. So, we're going to put this one on the back, crispy trees then we're gonna put crispy holidays on the front and then sugar plum is gonna go in our inner corner and then we'll talk about my thoughts on this palette i'll be right back girl. okay 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 y'all i'm back so i'll start with the shade crispy trees yeah but so honey uh they saying they bring the monetization back to instagram and i tell the lord thank you so i liked putting up my instagram shorts and reels and all the good stuff so i was happy that they wanted to bring it back because i was like you know i love doing it i you know i don't necessarily do it for the money but it's nice to you know like get some money especially in these times so when they said they was gonna bring it back and i didn't have to like try to deal with tiktok anymore oh honey i was so damn excited not that I feel like I was ever going to, like, really be a TikTok person or get, like, enough followers to do anything over there. Which, again, is totally fine with me. I don't like TikTok. I say make that pretty clear, I feel like. So, I put a whole bunch of, like, you know, just palette things over there. Now, we're going to take Crispy Holidays. But I put, like, my palette comparisons over there just like I do over here and on Instagram. I just don't put as much effort in over there because I'm, like, it's just, I don't know. To me, it's just for, like, people who like short-form content. And y'all know me, as long-winded as I am, what the hell I look like being interested in short-form content at all. It's just not for me. I'm I'm more of a long-content girl, long-form content girl, so... I was never really down with TikTok for that reason. I don't get mad at people who are, but I feel like it's kind of tainted, like... The way people consume media because they're so used to watching these super short things like you're expecting everybody to have this fast paced thing and do these super short things and I'm like I don't really like that. 
Now, I don't mind doing short stuff on Instagram because I like, feel like Instagram is supposed to be more like a glimpse. And since I guess I'm biased because Instagram is like the original thing for me, I'm just kind of like I don't see myself ever truly getting into like TikTok because they, I don't know. I feel like you don't get to, I hate, I never thought I'd be called Manny Mio, but I feel like it's like he said, like I don't really know you as a creator or as a person at all because it's like you on the screen for one to like three minutes at best and it's like I don't have a connection with you you're just some person I saw do something funny for three minutes or did a makeup hack that I thought was interesting or something like you're not someone I know and my whole thing is I'm not trying to really like take your recommendations or anything like that because I don't even know you like girl I don't know you and at best they had like the 10 minute thing going on over there which I could kind of get down with when I do like my little short comparisons and you know like my you know five brands duped themselves or something like that we're taking sugar plum in the inner corner but otherwise it's like i don't feel like i would ever really be part of like the whole TikTok thing so i'm glad that instagram is going back to the way it was monetization i wish they'd go back to the you know order that it used to be in because i'm upset about that so on my waterline i have this uden's eye pencil in number five i'm waiting on my uden's eye collection to come i need to look up palettes to compare those but i feel like there's not that many palettes to compare as far as that goes, so I guess I should be glad because that doesn't mean I have to do a whole bunch of like, work when it comes to comparisons. But you know, it's, it's his own type thing, so you know. Well, that is the finished look, y'all. Let me bring y'all back and talk about my thoughts. So, I like this palette. I think the color story is gorgeous. I love the shimmers. I love, I love like jewel tone type things if y'all haven't realized that. I feel like there could be a deeper shade for the outer V though. Like I feel like the shades might not be deep enough for some people's preferences. The green worked okay for me, but it's like, I feel like I would have preferred like a aubergine-ish type shade instead of like this traditional dark brown. But I can understand her doing a dark brown to make it more like everyday wearable friendly for the people who still want to wear it every day. Even though a good majority of it is like more on the, um, you know, colorful side. So I feel like she could just put the aubergine color and just made it like full on color. But that's the only real concern I have with this palette. Oh, aside from the fact that I feel like these two shades are too close together because I feel like they kind of oxidize. And the same thing with these because this is what's on my lower lash line. But does it look like that light underneath there? No, because it has oxidized. So these two shades to me are different enough on some of my skin tone. Now if you have a lighter skin tone they might look better. I don't remember if Karen used both these shades for you to get a difference. You can go check out Karen's video and check it out. Um, if you're interested in this palette I have linked it down below. I do have I think I don't think my code has been activated yet with um, DD Signature but I do have my um, link down below if you're interested in purchasing. I definitely think this is one purchase for the holidays i think she did a great job and she came back strong with this is her holiday palette along with the other palettes she came out with like again i like my classic autumn i just need to fix it that's why she's still sitting over here girl because you know I, I had time i had time but i'm definitely excited about this i want to play with my two little quads too i already took them home i didn't leave them here because i was like i wouldn't play with y'all i was gonna play with them not necessarily in the video but you know you're gonna see them on the gram you're gonna see them somewhere because they're cute but i definitely like dd signature and i'm so glad they have come back I recommend this palette if you're definitely interested in it. It's definitely on more the affordable side and it still has decent quality to it. So those are my thoughts on it. But you can comment down below and tell me what you think about this eye look and the stuff we talked about in this video. I'm happy about Instagram going back and people not necessarily being so excited about TikTok anymore. Because I miss, you know, people doing it for the gram, not doing it for the TikTok. But that's just me. Anyway, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Remember you all the diamonds. Be blessed, girl. Bye.